The mission for this video is to introduce you to JSTL. By the end of it, you will learn what JSTL is, the advantages of JSTL, what a tag library is, and what a tag is. JSTL stands for Java Standard Tag Library. A tag library is a collection of tags, which does a similar work, similar tasks. A tag, on the other side, is a task which when you, it's an XML element which when used in your JSP page can do a lot of work. Instead of writing or dumping a lot of Java code in your JSP page, in your web application, it will use an XML element which has a Java class behind the scenes. It is the responsibility of your web container like Apache Tomcat or WebSphere or WebLogic to call the appropriate Java class and give the output to you. But your JSP page will be very simple. It will use a few tags like what I have here. You can create your own tags or use the standard tags provided by Sun Microsystems. JSTL is a collection of tags which help us to write the output back to the browser using very simple tags. It provides logical tags, a lot of tags. But we mostly use the core tags available in the JSTL tag library. There are other tags like XML tags, SQL tags, etc. But the popular ones are the core tag library. Uh, to use the tags or to use JSTL, we download the jars from Sun Microsystems, Google for them. One is the JSTL.jar, second one is the standard.jar. Drop them in your WebINF lib folder of your web application. That's where all your web application jars go. The second step is to import the tag library. Once you drop the jars, the tag libraries are there in those jars. Now to use them in your JSP, here is where you use the tag lib directive. You are aware of the page directive already. You are aware of the include directive. Here is the third directive called tag lib directive. This will be your first line or first few lines of your JSP page. You can use a prefix, which in this case is C. I am using the core tags available in the JSTL tag library. And this is the URI which some microsystem asks us to use. So this thing here is like a package which uniquely identifies the tags in these jars. Once you do this, once you add the tag lib directly to your page, you can now use the, all the tags within that library. Here is an example tag, which is C colon out. C is this prefix which we have used here. You can have it uh, D, whatever you want. Since it is core tags, I am using C for it. Colon out, out is the tag which I want to use. Out is a tag which can send the output back to the browser. Whatever value we provide here or if you give a Java bean here, there are other attributes. Using those attributes, if you give a Java beans property, it will take the value out of the Java bean and it will send it back to the browser. Similarly, we have C colon for each, for etc. Different logical C colon if etc. Which will make it a lot more easier even for HTML designers. When they look at our page, they know what these things are doing. It will be, your page will look like HTML and combination of XML. It's easy for HTML developers to understand, which allows parallel development. So if the HTML developers can work on our page and the Java developers can also work on it. What I'm using here is an expression tag. JSP provides us with expressions. When you use a dollar sign, it simply evaluates the value inside it and gives it back to the C colon out, which is going to print it back to the browser. So the advantages, as I have already mentioned, we can do parallel development, both HTML designers and uh, Java developers can work on it. Maintainability of the page becomes very easier because a lot of work happens behind the scenes and you can use the same tag across your application. This C colon out, I'm going to use it in pretty much all my JSP pages. C colon for, if I want to look through a collection that is coming back from the server, uh, sorry, that is coming back from the business layer to our JSP page. We can loop through that without having a single line of Java code using tags. So reusability, maintainability are two important advantages of using custom tags or JSTL. So to quickly summarize, JSTL is a tag library from Sun Microsystems. A tag library is a collection of tags which does a similar work, similar tasks. A tag is an XML element which has a Java handler behind it and it does a particular task for you. The steps to use JSTL, download and copy two JAR files, JSTL.jar and standard.jar to your WebINF lib folder of your web application. Second step is to add the tag lib directive to your JSP page, then start using the various tags which are provided here. You can look at the documentation from Sun Microsystems, uh, look out for
for examples if you just google you will find a lot of examples for core tags in JSTL and you can start using them when I do the custom tags in the next presentation you will see how exactly these tags work behind the scenes what is a tag handler class what is the life cycle of a tag handler etc